Hello, this is Father Ken Lau, and uh, welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. In this episode, I would like to continue to share with you uh, the article, uh, The Prophetic Saint Who Foretold What the End of the World Will Be Like by Joseph Pronachan. This article, uh, the author wrote about St. Vincent Purr, who is also known as the Angel of the Apocalypse, and he preached about the end of the world and the Antichrist. In Scripture, Jesus warns us of the great evils and tribulations which are to come at the end of the world and tells us of the signs which will precede His coming in judgment. So God doesn't leave us clueless. In His mercy, He sends signs in order to forewarn us so that people will repent. And uh, three of the greatest, most terrible afflictions will be Antichrist, the second is the destruction of by fire of this terrestrial world. And the third one is the universal judgment. The first one is the Antichrist. He will deceive Christians in several ways. The first one is the sign of the sun. Okay, so in Holy Scripture, Christ is called the sun, S-U-N. Okay, so God, that's why God the Father sent him into the world as the light of this world. Right? So St. Vincent Ferrer wrote that in that same way, in a time of Antichrist, the sun of justice will be obscured by the interposition of temporal goods and the wealth which Antichrist will bestow on the world. Inasmuch as the brightness of faith in Jesus Christ and the glow of good lives will no longer shine among uh, Christians, what will happen is that uh, temporal rulers, kings, prime ministers, presidents will uh, side on the Antichrist uh, because they don't want to lose their dominion. Uh, and also in the like manner, it's like religious, like priests and others will also forsake the faith of Christ and adhere to the Antichrist so that they would continue to gain honors and uh, riches. In Revelation chapter 20, verse 7, with this wealth, he will gather together in arms all the nations of the world to fight, to fight against those who oppose him. And the Antichrist also will seduce the nations and peoples, that is, with gold, silver, and honor. That's why for us, we need to detach ourselves from earthly goods and long for those of heaven. Because as we know, material things are transitory, while the heavenly things are eternal. The next sign is the sign in the moon. In the Holy Scripture, the moon signifies our Holy Mother, the Universal Church which implies the worldwide union of Christians. Reflecting the moon's faces, the church in the last phase, no longer in the state in which Christ founded it. The third sign is that the stars shall fall from heaven. So St. Vincent refers the stars to the masters, doctors, and licentiates in theology, those who have a higher education in theology, some of whom will fall from heaven, that is from the heights of the faith. The Antichrist will reign for three and a half years or 1,290 days. So after that will be the death of the Antichrist, but this earth will exist for 45 more days. So the doctors of the church said these 45 days will be given by God for the conversion of those who have been seduced by Antichrist. But Antichrist will have left behind him so great riches and pleasure that hardly any of the nations will be converted to the faith of Christ. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 27, a certain dreadful expectation of the judgment and the rage of a fire shall consume the adversaries. So this is the destruction by fire of the terrestrial world. Therefore, St. Vincent Fur warns us that we should do penance now, forgive injuries, make restitution of any ill-gotten goods, live up to and confess your religion, if it were certain that in a short time this town was going to be destroyed by fire, would you not exchange all your immovable goods for something that you could take away with you? And with that, he's implying that we could only uh, take away with us the treasure that we piled up already in heaven. So I hope um, in this episode, uh, we will see the signs of the times, okay? And that we will be forewarned and that we will be ready for the coming judgment of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless. The living saint, Jesus Mary Joseph, we trust in you.